Hello everyone, Miss Liz Y here. Thank you so much for joining me for another mini mad science lab video. Today we're going to be conducting a really fun experiment called Penguin Science. But before we do that, we must quickly go over the materials we will be needing for today's project. So if you registered for this program, you should have received a mini mad science lab kit. In this kit, you will have everything you need for this project. If you did not register for this program, you can still participate at home by using any materials you may have at your house. So in your mini mad science lab kits, you will find a few things. You should have your supply sheet that lists everything you need for today's experiment. You should have a blank penguin template, as well as a mini spray bottle with some blue food coloring in it. Additionally, you will also need a few items from home, including a black crayon, an orange crayon, and a white crayon, and you also will be needing some water. So today's experiment is rather simple, but I think it's going to be really fun. But before we get started, I wanted to share just kind of a fun penguin fact with you all. So did you know that penguins stay in the water for as long as five months? They sleep, they eat, they swim thousands and thousands of miles throughout the water for five months. So I've kind of been wondering how these birds stay warm and dry in the icy cold waters of Antarctica. And that question is going to lead us into today's experiment. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing how water repels on penguins fur. And you might be wondering, well, how are we going to do that, Miss Liz? We don't have any penguins. Well, that's where our penguin template comes in handy. So what you're going to do is you're first going to color in your penguin template. That's when your crayons come in handy. And now you want to make sure that you're coloring really hard and really thoroughly on your penguin sheet because you want that wax from the crayon to really build up and cover the entire penguin. So it might take a little bit of time, but that's okay. I colored my penguin off camera. Um, so as you can see, he's completely covered. I did a really good job of just making sure um, I had like a thick layer of crayon. So like I said, it might take a little bit longer, but just make sure you have your entire penguin covered um, with crayon. And once you have that done, you are going to pour your water, you don't need a lot, maybe half a cup, into your mini spray bottle with the food coloring. I also did that off camera, so my spray bottle is all ready to go. Once you have that water in the spray bottle, you wanna make sure you give it a really good shake because we want this blue food coloring to mix in well with the water. So give it a few shakes, and then we are ready to go. I also suggest maybe putting down newspaper or paper towels um, on the table just so if you spray um, onto the penguin, if you know a few drops might get on the table you're working with, and food coloring can sometimes be hard to clean off tables, um, so that just might be a helpful tip. All right, so I'm going to get my paper towel down here and my penguin. I will point, point my camera down so you all can see what I'm doing here. All right, I have my penguin. He is all colored, he is ready to go. And what we're going to do now is, we're just, like I mentioned before, we're going to test how well penguin's fur, or in this case, the wax from the crayon, um, repels water. So that's why we included this blue food coloring, so that way we could actually see the drops of water. So we don't need a whole lot of water, um, just a few light sprays will get the job done. So make sure you have your spray bottle uncapped. We're just going to lightly spray on our penguin. You'll want to make sure that you are spraying on the penguin's white belly because that's where we will be able to best see the water. All right, and as you can see here, well hopefully you can see well on my camera, those little blue drops they're still kind of just on the surface of the white crayon. So I guess it's kind of good that the, the spray bottle did spray outside the penguin because then you can compare and contrast. So if you look on the side here, you can see that the paper absorbed that blue water. But see how these dots here are darker? That's because they're actually lying on the surface of the crayon. 
So what happened is the wax from our crayon worked to repel the water. That's why none of that blue water was absorbed in the penguin's belly because that's where the wax was heavily laid on from when we colored it. So even though we didn't work with a real penguin, we can learn that because penguins are covered in thick and densely packed feathers all over their body, that is what helps keep them dry and helps repel the water because their feathers actually contain an oil producing gland that makes their feathers waxy, kind of like how crayons are waxy. And that wax repels water and helps keep their feathers dry, which therefore helps keep them warm throughout the cold winter. So even though our experiment for this month was rather simple, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something new and interesting about penguins. Make sure you stop by the library to check out some books about penguins because we do have quite a few in our collection. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.